Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below so that I know you stopped by. Today's video is going to be a tutorial install and styling video on this wig that was sent to me from myfirstwig.com. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So my first wig did come out with a new line of summer hairstyles, which I saw and fell in love with. This wig in particular, when I saw it on their website, I immediately knew that I had to get my hands on it. This is called the Color Pluck 003 TCP003. So typically when I receive a wig, I normally customize it further by doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. However, for this wig, I will be putting it to the test and I will be challenging myself to get a realistic looking hairline and overall look without doing any extra customizing at all. Okay, so the first thing, of course, that I'm going to do is just put this wig on. First of all, first of all. The stretch is amazing on this wig. It fits so comfortably on my head. I have a larger head. I have, you know, a bigger head than most people. And it just fits really, really good on my head. So I love the fit of it. Very comfortable, very secure fit. That's first of all. Second of all, this color is giving me Beyonce. I'm loving this. This is a very, very, very pretty unit. Very different as well. So although the hair is already curled for us, I do want to go over it with my curling iron just to give it more curls, especially here at the top. I love this color. This is kind of like a sombre hair color. You get the ombre at the top and then the ombre at the bottom and then just color here. I love it. And this wig is perfect for people who want to experiment with blonde, but they don't want to go full on blonde. They don't want to go full on platinum. This ash is such, such, such a gorgeous gorgeous color especially with this chocolate brown and this hair is super soft which I am also really 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 loving the hair smells absolutely amazing I think my first wig did an amazing job with the color placement if you move the hairs out of your face like this it is darker surrounding your hairline as well as the parting space as well as the bottom of the wig I think that that gives it such a modern trendy twist I love it. I have nothing negative to say about this wig at all, but let's just put it straight to the test and see if a beginner will be able to install it and get that same look on the website with no effort. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just cut a little bit of layers here where my face is because it's just long and my face is long. So I feel like if it's layered, it will be able to flow better and it will look better. So it will be more like this, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just straight. So I'm not going to cut that much layers, but I am just going to cut a little bit in the front. So I'm basically going to take about this much hair, not much hair, literally less than a half of an inch, and I'm just going to layer it. This is going to give the wig more movement. You'll see a difference when I curl it. So I think adding the face framing layers will definitely bring the color out and make it pop more as well as add more movement to it. But you want to make sure that you're not cutting too much into the wig because most of the color is right here at the top. I didn't want to get too scissor happy. So this is what I came up with. The next thing that I'm going to do is basically curl the hair. And I know that 70s flips are like trending everywhere. So I don't know if I want to like flip the front or do like a normal cascading look like this. So to curl this hair, I'll just be grabbing my Baby Bliss curling iron and I'll just be flipping it out like that. All right, so now I'm just gonna stick a bobby pin in it to hold the pin curl.
Okay, so for the last part, I'm just gonna grab the flyaway tamer from my first wig and then my pressing comb and I'm just gonna flatten the top and curl it and then pin curl it like the rest of the hair. Okay, so now that the wig is fully pin curled, we've reached my favorite part, which is installing this wig so we can do the final reveal. So I wanna make sure that I do this as easy as possible because beginners may be a little intimidated by the install process, especially if you're doing it on your own head. So today I will be using the Got To Be Free Spray, which is a lot easier than using the actual gel, a tape, or glue. So the first thing that I always start off doing when I am installing any type of wig is I clean my forehead off with alcohol. This is super important because it gets rid of any excess oil or dirt from your head and it allows the adhesive, the glue or the tape to stick down onto your head and this makes your installs last a lot longer. Now that my forehead is clean, I'll be grabbing Scalp Protector by Walker Tape. This is basically going to help to protect my scalp from any harsh chemicals and a lot of people who have scalp irritations or are allergic to a lot of products in the adhesive they use this because it does create a barrier between your scalp and the product so i like to go over my scalp or where i will be placing my adhesive with this product about two times and then i allow it to air dry so typically if I'm using a gel, a tape, or a glue, at this point, I would basically just put the wig on my head, position it in the proper placement, and then I'll cut two slices in it and that separates it into three sections. Because I'm not using any of those and I will be using this free spray, I don't have to do that. I'm literally just going to put the wig on my head. I'm gonna make sure that it's in the proper placement. And then I'm gonna grab the free spray and literally just spray along the hairline. After I do that, I'll be putting my scarf on for about 10 to 15 minutes to allow it to set. And then after that, I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut off the extra lace. If you are a beginner, I do wanna let you know that this free spray is easy to install. However, it does not last long if you sweat, if it's raining, if you're in a very humid area, if it's summertime, the lace will lift up if you use this and only this. I do use these two in combination a lot of times and if you want your wig to last about two, three days, I suggest using both of these or this one and the yellow tube has a really strong hold as well. Otherwise, you can wear this wig glueless or you can use a glue or some type of tape to adhere it down onto your skin if you want the hold to last a lot longer. So now I'm just going to move the wig back and spray. Then after it's down, you wanna grab your scarf. This did come in my package. And you wanna just tie it down. Okay, so while this is setting, I'm just gonna start my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and take the scarf off and then cut off the extra lace. All right, so now I'm just gonna define that parting space a little bit more because I do not wear a wig cap under my wigs. I do have to do this step or tint the lace in a lot of my wigs. I'm just using an eyeshadow and a flat brush to go over the parting space. I will be adding some baby hairs here where my hairline is. I have a lower hairline, so in a lot of my wigs, if they're not a rounded hairline shape, like my natural hairline shape, I do have to add baby hairs just so that it can blend in with my hairline a lot more. Adding baby hairs to your wig is always an optional step. You do not have to do this.
So now I'm just going to remove my headscarf and remove these bobby pins to reveal my gorgeous curls and final style. So the curls on the left side of my face have dropped. I am going to have to go over that with my curling iron again so that it can be as tight as the curls on the right side of my face. If I don't, it will look like the hair is cut unevenly because obviously it's hanging down more on the left side, but just overlook that we know that I have to go over it with the curling iron but overall I am obsessed with this wig with the color with the cut with the style with everything I think this is a perfect summer wig definitely a summer staple that you should have in your wig closet let's talk about this wig down below in the comment section how do you feel about this color and style let's chat down below if you are a beginner were these steps pretty easy for you to follow will you be trying these steps in your next wig install as always thank you so much for watching I will have all of the information the promo codes and direct links to this week down below in the description box and don't forget to check down below for more information if you're new here don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below so that i know you stopped by and i can't wait to see you all in my next one bye guys Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos.